it's us, and we're going to Macau. <laughs> Actually, the vlog. I haven't vlogged since, so then we're kind of picking up from Peng yeah. Chow. We're going to that red building over there, and that's where the ferry terminal is. So that's Our ticket is at 1 p.m., so that means we have an hour till we get there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get coffee and I'm getting back in, getting something really quick just like a little breakfast thing because the whole point of Macau is to eat in Macau and I'm back in We're actually gonna meet our friends there they're gonna take the next ferry they have to go back and get their Hong Kong ID. Macau is not part of Hong Kong, so you have to travel with like either a passport or an ID. Macau is quite busy, especially because today is a Sunday, and now that it's open to the public, a lot of people, especially from Hong Kong, are visiting Macau. So yeah, it's pretty jam-packed on this ferry right now. Here at the Macau terminal, we have to go through immigration once more before we're let out. And we made it through! Ah, my camera died, but I was just saying we arrived quite late because we left quite late. So now we're just going to explore this area and wait for our friends to arrive and then we'll go explore the other island side where the ruins of the St. Paul's is. It's really interesting though because there are a lot of Portuguese wording around. So according to Google, Macau is known as the Las Vegas of Asia. Macau is an autonomous region on the south coast of China across the Pearl River Delta from Hong Kong. It's a Portuguese territory until 1999 and it reflects a mix of cultural influences. It's already three something. We decided to just split a cab to the city area. Bought the wrong ferry ticket, so we should have bought it to the outer of Macau. So next time, if you guys want to go to the ruins of St. Paul's or anything like where the food and stuff is, probably best to buy it in the outer Macau area and not the Taipa area. You can you can flip the bus sometime when you go. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh god. Oh, oh dear. Oh, something new. So it's kind of like a Hong Kong style. Vietnamese amalgamation style, like fun me. Oh, my friends are there. Oh, what the? They left me behind. So, no go on the buses. Uh, you need a mask to get onto the buses here in Macau, which is not the case in Hong Kong. So, we didn't know that. And we're losing light anyway, so we might as well just take the cab everywhere. Macau is actually much bigger than I had anticipated. It's actually quite far from every area. So like, for example, this area with the food, the main district area is actually quite far from the roads of St. Paul's. And then where we're going for dinner is even further away. And then we decided to also do zip lining in Macau, like nighttime zip lining. So we're coming back and then that's close to the ferry terminal. So it's all quite far and I think you really have to plan around Macau. Otherwise you would lose a lot of valuable daylight while exploring this area. So I highly recommend that because now we're kind of, <laughs> we're kind of in limbo. We're kind of just like trying to get around 
but we only have like two hours left on the daylight left. But it's still very beautiful here. I love the architecture so much. Like a mini European city. Architecture here is really interesting. There's two different sides. There's the gaudy, flashy casino, <laughs> and then there's the reminiscent of European architecture. Quite interesting. And then we were just talking about because we were driving over the cobblestone. How that's quite unique to Macau because it's very rare for Asia to have cobblestone. So it's kind of cool, like little Europe and little Asia. It's a really unique vibe here in Macau. And here we are, the remains of the St. Paul's College, which is now known as the Ruins of St. Paul's. It was burnt in a fire and the only the facade is left, which indicates how big the college was at the time. Incredible. seeing it. I mean, these are the real Portuguese egg tarts here in Macau. Yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. Just watch my bag, sweetheart. Right? Mm. Taste the difference? It's quite sweet. Yeah, and it's really crunchy, right? Mm, and it's fine. No, I do know the difference. Mm. Just the right flavor. The egg tarts great. started being sold in the early 20th century in Guangzhou, the Guangdong province, inspired by some kind of European custard tart. Guangzhou's status as the only port accessible to European foreign traders led the development of Cantonese cuisine, having many outside influences. Oh. So this is this is up my alley. It's another cathedral. So cute because the roads are so small, like in Europe. So there's a lot of vespers and a lot of like small kind of cars. It's a European like vibe. I am loving Macau. It's so beautiful. Like I don't remember, I don't have any memories of Macau except for the ruins of St. Paul's. But now that I'm walking here and I know a bit more about the history and I'm reading a bit more about the Portuguese settlement here, I just have fallen even more in love with how unique the city is and how, you know, little things that I probably wouldn't have noticed when I was younger like things like walking on cobblestone to just walking into like this eclectic little area. I just love that they ride little motorbikes around. It's very reminiscent of Europe. It's like the east meets west and I just love the juxtaposition between the two. I think it's a really really cool amalgamation of two different like eras and cities in time. I just I don't know, I just really love it. it. It reminds me of Hong Kong a little bit as well. Um, a lot of people here speak Cantonese and they use Hong Kong dollars as well as the MOP which is the Macau dollar. But it's pretty much equivalent so you can use Hong Kong as well and it's interchangeable. So it's really cool. I think that's like really easy if you're coming from Hong Kong to just go into Macau. It feels 
different but at the same time familiar but it does take you a little bit into like Europe there's like reminiscence of Europe so oh, I think it's really cool I really enjoy walking here and exploring the city and really looking forward to exploring more it's a shame that we came a bit late though but we're about to head into this restaurant really cute Portuguese restaurant we're gonna get some tapas Tapas time! So I don't know if you guys can see, up top is zip, the zip line. So it's quite high up there. Like, it's actually quite scary. Spontaneous and exhilarating trip. <laughs> 